All right, let's start. What do you think, Anton? Yep, I think we can start. The recording of the webinar will be available in the nearest future on our website, so uh, everybody will be able to review it once again, or uh, who is absent today can view it for the first time. Okay, so hi everyone. My name is Jarek Ochnowski and here is Anton Okchuk. We are both senior solutions engineers at Starwind. And today we're going to speak about ransomware and how to fix that if that happened already, how to avoid it and how to stay away from it. We're going to cover what ransomware is, uh, how it works, um, some facts and statistics, why it's still important in 2023, how to prevent it and what is more important, how not to get in trouble. And especially we're going to speak about the immutable backups and what Starvin has to offer for backups in general. So, and yeah, they're going to be quick demo of our solution and of course answer any questions. The most interesting part, let's roll. Yeah, so I think uh, let's start with what is ransomware basically. So it's a malware that uh, designed to deny a user or organization access to files on their computer by encrypting those files and demanding a ransom payment for the decryption key, cyber attackers place organizations in a position where paying the ransom is basically the easiest and the cheapest way to regain access to their files. Ransomware has quickly become the most visible type of malware. Uh, recent ransomware attacks have impacted hospitals' ability to provide crucial services, crippled public services in cities, and caused significant damage to various organizations. The modern ransomware craze began with the WannaCry outbreak of 2017. This large-scale and highly publicized attack demonstrated that ransomware attacks were possible and potentially profitable. And basically since then, uh, dozens of ransomware variants have been developed and used in a variety of attacks. Ransomware as a malicious software threat operates through a series of stages to achieve its objectives successfully. And its core, uh, ransomware follows three fundamental stages. So stage one is infection. Ransomware, like any other malware, can gain access to organization systems in a number of different ways. Uh, however, ransomware operators tend to prefer a few specific infection vectors. One of those is phishing emails. A malicious uh, email may contain a link to the website hosting a malicious download or an attachment that has downloader functionality built in. If the email recipient falls for the phish, then the ransomware is downloaded and executed on their computer. Like another popular ransomware infection vector uh, takes advantage of the service such as remote desktop protocol and with RDP, uh, the attacker who has stolen or guessed an employee's login credentials can use them to authorize and remotely access to a computer within the enterprise network. With this success, uh, the attacker can directly download the malware and execute it on a machine under their control. Others may attempt to infect systems directly, like WannaCry exploded the eternal vulnerability. Uh, and most ransomware variants have multiple infection vectors. The step two is data encryption. Uh, once the ransomware gains access to a system, it initiates the process of encrypting files. And encryption, uh, which is a built-in functionality of operating systems, involves uh, accessing files, encrypting them using an attacker-controlled key, and replacing the original files with the encrypted copies. Ransomware variants typically select files occasionally to ensure system stability. And in addition, some variants take features to delete backup and shadow copy of, uh, copies of files, completing uh, the recovery uh, without the decryption key. Step three is a ransom demand. After completing the encryption process, uh, the ransomware proceeds to make a ransom demand, and various ransomware variants implement this step differently. But in a common, uh, to alter and display background with a ransom node or place text files containing to the ransom node in each encrypted directory. Typically, those nodes demand a specific amount of cryptocurrency in exchange for regaining access to the victim files. 
if the ransom is paid, basically, the ransomware operator will either provide a copy of a private key used for symmetric encryption or symmetric encryption key itself. The victim can use this information with the provided decryptor program to reverse the encryption and recover their files. While those three core steps are common to all uh, ransomware variants, different strains may incorporate additional steps or variations. For example, base ransomware performs file scanning, registry analysis, and data sieve before initializing data encryption, while WannaCry scans for vulnerable devices to infect and encrypt. As for now, uh, let's move forward to the next slide and see some facts and statistics for the past two years. There is no good news about the ransomware. As for now, attacks continue to increase as cybercriminalists use data infiltrations and the threat of data leaks to increase pressure on companies to pay the ransom. Even if a company can restore data from backups, leaked data from a company that refuses to pay ransom may appear on the database websites operated by threat actors. Education, government and healthcare are top three sectors to experience a ransomware attack in 2022, but I would like to focus on a SMB market. Verizon reported uh, ransomware updates of almost 900 incidents of data breaches for small businesses in 2022. Of those attacks, 130 confirmed data loss, with nearly 80% of the attacks a result of ransomware. Those attacks directly affect workflow and employees. Almost 40% of enterprises had to lay off employees after an attack and 35 experienced C-level resignations. Another 33% had to suspend operations temporarily. Almost half of their organizations paid ransom to prevent revenue losses and another 41% paid ransom to quicken the recovery process. Of those with reported losses, most said that Basically, they lost between $1 and $10 million, and over the half of the companies that paid the ransom had corrupted data after removing encryption. Uh, the study also highlights two particular troubling ransomware statistics. First is 80% of businesses that paid the ransom were subject to another ransomware attack, and additionally, over two-thirds of companies that paid ransom experienced another attack within a month. So what is the future of ransomware? Cybersecurity Ventures estimates that the global ransomware trends for damage will experience 30% year-over-year growth over the next decade. The damages are estimated to exceed 265 billion annually by 2031 within an attack happening every two seconds.